Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today uh, we will see another demo of a G2E application Java um, web application and this is in JSPN servlet and so in technical side from the technical side for the front to manage the front end so using HTML CSS and JSP to manage the back end and it's using servlets so here uh, under the controllers you will see all the servlets it's following the complete MVC architecture beans are there controllers exceptions model and util packages are there application is deployed over the tomcat server so it's using tomcat server to manage the backend it's using mysql database so here these are the tables available into the mysql table mysql database so i'm going to run it and will show you the end-to-end -end functionality of the application how it's working so i just right click on the root folder of the application go to run as run on server and select the server click on finish in order to run the application so automatically this application will launch over your chrome browser and this will be the welcome page it has some sliding uh, some demo options so basically this is for the car parking so the concept is like if uh, the we have to register a car and then we can park for a specific park and just 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 assume it it's like a, uh you like admin is a person who is sitting in the front of the car parking door where you can take the car numbers and register those car and park them so <clears throat> this is the home page and after the home page we have one admin sign in and the car search so let's suppose uh i'm going to register a new car the new car has just come and i can search for the new car and i just enter some random car number and search it so there is no due payments for this particular car because this car is not available so i'm just going to log in as an admin and going to enter the username and password from this user table uh, from the car parking so i just enter this email id as a admin user and the password this is the password admin at the admin 23 i just sign in over there here i have the option to add a new car Let's suppose now the new car is there and I'm going to add up and be okay. I'm just going to just change some number here. So I just change and this is a dummy number, like I'm not using any real cards number. So you can say 90. Okay, so this is let's suppose my car number and the entry time. So let's suppose for the parking time is 11 44 and pm and let's take some other time so we can calculate the time carefully so suppose the time is 11 44 1m 1m 144 m and it's going to be remove of 444 pm uh, okay so there will be three or four hours parking so let's select the date so user can't select the previous date it's disabled so i'm just going to select today's date and parking charges per hour for that specific car so uh, let's suppose i just enter 20 rupees per hour and i just save it so this card is registered now just remember this car number and if i check the car list the car is listed here and uh, there's a, the total time for parking is automatically converted uh, into three into the hours so it's come as a three hours and the total cost will be 60 rupees like uh, three into 20 that was uh, 20 hours per hour charges now if I go there and search for the car and I can search for this car so it will here uh, it will come here now and the option is available for the park so um, it's already parked because we have added the detail from the right parking in case of second time we can it we can park it from there okay now uh, if I go there into the list payment list this is the existing payment list now we have registered a car and the, generated the payment for three years now the customer will come and uh, into the portal and search here for the car search they will enter his car number and search here he now uh, the customer can check the option uh to for the due payment so currently it has a due payment on this car number as a 60 rupees the customer go there and enter the car details sorry uh, the car detail and paid the amount and this is the disabled fee so it's the uh, customer can't change the car number in the amount and we click the pay payment successfully now if customer go there and search here so the record will not display now because the payment is already done so let's log in again as the admin and check payment for this car so it's already paid so it's coming here as a done 
now if i go here and says let's suppose the same card come uh, after after a few days or the next time so if i search it uh, it will display like park okay uh, if the card is not available here if i search here for the new card it will not display uh, for the park we have to register that card first but once we have registered the card we don't need to uh, register it again we can just search the card number and we can go there and park so again it's fetch a card number automatically let's suppose i selected a time now 247 uh, pm to 3:47 pm and enter the date and let's suppose today's date and the charge this particular parking charge is 50 rupees so it means uh it's parked for the burn hour so it will the customer need to pay 50 rupees now uh the payment is created for this particular card now for the admin if you're going to search the card number or always it will display the number for it will display for the parking uh, for the park only but if customer or any other user from the front end search for this card it will display the dues due payment so once the customer will pay again customer need to enter the payment details and pay the amount the payment successfully now customer will not say check any dues and all the details will be stored into this admin payment list that is done or not now even if i search for it search for this card like the dues is done and now it will displaying the another park option so that's it from the admin and customer side this is completely car parking management system and uh, if you need the source code just uh, ping us over the whatsapp over the mail and don't worry about the configuration and all so we have a remote team and other services to explanation for the source code trainers are there they, they can help you to understand the code and they can do the configuration at your machine and it will work same as source in the demo and we'll do the complete set of the software installation and the project import and all so please connect over there in case you need the source code and uh, thank you